I feel like I can't even tell you who I like no more. Yeah. You know the vibes. It's Yo, who am I? I go by J. I ain't know no savage shit. Free JT, I am that bitch, but I am not your bitch. I still pop my lips, still snack on chips. I take a nine inch strap. I don't take no dick. You know the vibes. Hey, bring it, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. You know the vibes. Just know that when I when I started my channel, I literally did it on my terms when I was ready to because before I made a channel, I was getting like DMs all the time. And even, you know, being told, you need to make your channel, you need to make your channel. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm not ready. I was trying to be like too specific about it. And so just one day I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just do it. And I really did it because, you know, I, I wanted to still be in... I still wanted to have the connection I had with my supporters, my J Squad, my Plum Squad. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been my J Squad, my Plum Squad before we even got on this channel. So I did it, you know what I'm saying, for you guys. My channel has been through two breakups, friendships that would never be spoke of. I just feel like I have a combined, I don't know, I just feel like my subscribers come from a combination of, of, of a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I made this new channel because on my reaction channel, you come let your hair down. It's a non-judgment zone. And I guess that's what was normal on YouTube. People go through stuff like that. Don't get me wrong. Every time I go through something, no, I'm not going to be making a new channel. I just literally wanted to do this solely for me. Like, I made this new channel for me because I actually enjoy doing reaction videos. And I actually don't mind doing more reaction videos than my cooking videos or my fitness videos or my or vlogging, which I hardly do but want to do. Some people may not be rocking with my reactions. Let me just say, my new channel is strictly for reactions. So if you do enjoy my reaction videos, please, please, please go over to J Vibes Reactions and subscribe. Put your bell on for all post notifications. This channel, J Vibes, I'm still going to be here. Okay, it's going to be a combination of everything. We'll do some Easy and Natalie reactions probably on both channels. So please make sure you are subscribed to both channels. Make sure your bell is on. I know that I have the Easy and Natalie playlist on this channel, but I have a reaction channel for reactions. So you just have to really be engaged on what's going on. But when it comes to like anything that isn't a reaction, it's going to be on my main channel, basically. But yeah, y'all, this channel has been through... A lot and I've grown so freaking much and I'm only gonna grow some more and that's why I just feel like it's that time to just draw that line let some of my supporters know that hey look I appreciate your support all of you guys are important but I can't please everybody and so with that being said like it's just it's just a lot of energies coming through my phones that I don't need and I'm just cutting ties and drawing lines there's no ill intent behind it it's just it's for me it's it's for me because who gonna take care of me than me who gonna make me a priority other than me you know what i'm saying so another thing if you're watching this video if you feel like this video is about you oh my god if the shoe fucking fit wear it i'm not clearing shit up I'm not clearing it up, especially if you're not even trying to understand or with a positive mind. If you're going at it or looking into it negatively, I just, I'm just, ugh, my head is hot. No, this is all with good intent. I'm just drained. Some of y'all, if y'all used to getting a response from me, and this is, this is more so when it comes to the text messages, when it comes to the DMs. And some of y'all are used to getting a message from me and I don't respond. Just, 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 if it's a new day, don't text me about, I text you last night, or I gave you my number and you ain't hit me up. I can go on and on and on and on and on. And that's why I'm saying like, if the shoe fit, then wear it because I'm not on here, like putting your name with the messages, with the voicemails, with the DM with your face with the names i'm not doing all that and i'm still being nice right i had someone tell me i'm being too nice i feel like i'm still being nice but i'm not trying to be mean neither like i'm just, i want you to come from a place of understanding and i don't have to be nasty about about it i'm just letting you know i'm drawing that line 
um, I do have two phones. This phone was for my supporters, but it's mainly for business. Like, come on now. I'm like business on demand. Don't knock my hustle. And why do I have two phones? You know I got two phones. If you don't know, just know I got two phones. It don't even matter. I pay my bill. That shouldn't be nobody concerned. I had somebody literally question me on why do I have two phones. Are you going to pay my bill? If you're not, you in my business? Don't do that. Like, <laughs> is there everything I wanted to say? Because I'm not doing another video like this. It's time to turn up. I think I said everything I want to say. Whenever I do get into a relationship, my partner will not be a secret, but my relationship will. So, if you ask me, am I single, and I'm not single, I'm going to tell you I'm not single. Okay? But if you're asking me, like, <clears throat> why I don't ever show my girlfriend, or why you don't ever see me and my girlfriend do stuff out in public together because my relationship is going to be private so my partner will not be the status of my relationship won't be private but my relationship will be private being single is a relationship type you know that right when they ask you your relationship married single divorce single is a relationship so whatever i do and my singleness is it's private. It ain't none of your business. I feel like I can't even tell you who I like no more. All you gonna know is that she fine as fuck. That's that's pretty much how I'm gonna sum it up for everybody. You ain't gonna know who I like. And if you think that, if you think that I like somebody just because I say they fine, then you need to go to a children's channel because this channel is not for kids. It's not for kids. Just because I say somebody is fine, beautiful, that don't mean I like them. I find somebody attractive, doesn't mean I like them. So, yeah, that's what I want to say. I think that's, that's exactly what I want to say. I want to say, don't overstep your boundaries. No one is my manager. No one is my assistant. No one is my do girl or my do boy. I don't send nobody to nobody's DMs or boxes to ask them what's going on with me and them when grow up. Okay. Oh yeah, the apologies. I be getting all. Oh, uh, I can. I don't even have time. I don't even have time. I don't even have time. I feel like what's understood don't have to be explained. You know, we are all adults. I hope, even if you're not an adult, okay. Sit back and let the grown folk talk and not be in grown folk business. Um, and if you in my business, don't do that. Big period. Is there anything else? Oh, yeah, 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 it is something else. I'm not obligated to do anything, okay? And I think I've had this conversation numerous of times on all of my platforms. But let me say this again, okay? I don't like expectations because expectations lead to disappointments, okay? So with that being said, do not send me anything expecting that I'm obligated to come see you or give you my time or give you anything, okay? Don't try to bribe me with gifts because I will send them back. I will send them back. I will give them to Goodwill, to somebody less fortunate, if it's anything of that nature. Like, it's just unnecessary, unnecessary stress, you guys. And it, it's borderline harassment and it's like misery loves company that's what it is misery loves company and don't they i feel like that's so selfish you know what i'm saying that's so selfish for and i see i see it happen all the time but it's people out there like that and so again well you haven't heard it but i've already posted it everybody's not well i think i did say it. everybody will not get a response from me so if you don't get a response from me i don't need you I don't need you saying, oh, I'm leaving because she ain't responded to me. I can't please everybody. So if you literally come on anything like my lives and you literally are looking for me to talk to you and you only, it's not going to happen. My numbers are going up. They're going to continue to go up. I think that's what I wanted to say. I think, I think that's the last thing I wanted to say is don't bribe me with stuff because I don't like that. I don't even want to like give examples because I don't want nobody feeling like I'm trying to target them specifically. And this is not a video because I have this platform. This is not an exposing video. This is a video to just to let you know how I feel. Let you know that I'm drawing the line. I'm letting you know to not cross those boundaries. That it is boundaries. That I do not want nobody hopping in nobody's DM box. Asking nobody about me and them. 
don't do that, okay? Don't shoot the shot before I like that. That was embarrassing. That was embarrassing. I'm about to do my first meditation today. I haven't been careful about where I put my energy, who I'm giving my energy to. And not to say that I haven't been caring, I just haven't been, I lack that. I lack on actually paying attention and making sure that I'm putting my energy into the right thing or the right person or whatever the case may be. And that shit is, is that's where I draw the line. Like I say, y'all, I'm growing up, you either gonna rock with me, you're not gonna rock with me. It's still gonna be a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period. I'm gonna be me, always gonna be me. I'm never gonna change, but I will no longer feel obligated. Cause I'm not. I'm not obligated for nothing. So that's that's what I wanted to say. I'm gonna remain different, okay? I'm gonna remain responding to those who respond to me respectfully. I've had this person talk so nasty to me and they never even spent five minutes with me but they were talking nasty to me why was she talking nasty to me because i didn't even give a fuck i hate people that watch what i do like i am an entertainer um a lot of entertainers they make up shit or they talk about real life shit you know what i'm saying um and unless you put on the clown face and come out as the clown, they, they're gonna know that you're, you're the clown, all right? I don't know. I don't know. I'm ready to turn up. <clears throat> New reactions on the way. I'm actually gonna be doing a vlog tomorrow and I'm gonna keep that vlog and what I'm actually doing and what it is a secret because I don't even know if I'm gonna do it tomorrow, but I should do it tomorrow because it's real life. But, uh, yeah. I'm out of here, y'all. I love you guys. I love you. I appreciate you. I tell you this all the time. And because I do. You know what I'm saying? Just love me and appreciate me respectfully. Please. Please, 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 please. And, uh, yeah. Have a great day. Be blessed. Stay clean. Stay safe. Be considerate of other motherfuckers. Besides yourself, it's okay to be selfish and to have yourself as priority. But where your heart comes in at is if you consider other motherfuckers with what you do. When you're doing it, how you do it, and what you do and don't do. Just don't be nobody's stress today. And don't be nobody's pimple on their face. Okay? Peace. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J-Vibes. You know the vibes. You know the fuck going on. And I'm out this bitch. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm back in this bitch, what's good? Let's get this understood, bitch. I wish a bitch would. 